back to Cape Cups. It's that time of the week again. It's Pizza Wednesday. Today we're going to be tackling our second Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pizza. This one is from episode 51, Case of the Hot Kimono. Toppings on this one, anchovies, onions, and butterscotch. I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into this one. So let's quickly make our dough. When I make my dough, I usually make it in a batch that gives me enough for four pizzas, because this dough can go in the fridge and it'll last for about two weeks. Just keep it in a nice sealed container or a sealed baggie, and you can keep that in the fridge for about two weeks. Just take it out half an hour before you want it, let it come to room temperature, and then you're ready to go. I'm just going to show a quick clip, going really quick through the process for making the dough. And in the corner, I'm going to put up some text that gives you the measurements for one pizza. So depending on how many pizzas you want to make, just multiply those measurements. The first thing we want is 121 millilitres of boiling water. Then to the boiling water, we want to add 242 mils of cold water. We now want to be adding seven grams of instant yeast. So you then want to add 18 grams of salt into your water and yeast. So the next step is to add 600 grams of flour into your mixing bowl. So next you want to get your yeast mix and start slowly adding this to your flour and just keep giving it a slow stir. You want to give this a good mix so it all just comes together. You're going to now want to knead this for about 5 to 10 minutes. Once all that's done, cover up, 2 hours proving time, get yourself something to do and I'm going to walk the dogs. Back. The pizza dough's got about 40 minutes left on it, so we've still got a little while to wait. Hello. So we've still got a little while to wait. While we're doing that, I'm just going to get the onions chopped up for this onions, anchovies, and butterscotch pizza. I'm going to give those a bit of a fry on the wok. I'm just going to put the wok on now just to get that warming through. Just put a bit of oil in this. And then we'll just peel the onions. I'm going to cook up one and a half onions because I've got no idea how much onion this pizza wants. I mean, it's an onion, anchovy and butterscotch pizza. I've got no idea what it wants on it. Chop these up in the strips. Spread these up a little bit. Now let's add these to the pan. You just want to get these nice and brown and caramelised. Um, I'm assuming maybe that's how there was on this pizza. I have no idea. I think these are now about where I want them. They still have a nice bit of a crunch to them. I think these will go well on a pizza. Well, a normal pizza. I'm not so sure how they're going to go with anchovies and butterscotch, but we'll find out. Okay, so our dough's proven now. I just want to give this a light dust in the flour. Spread that around. Take that out of there, work that into a ball, get that on there, start working this out with our fingers. Then we can just pick that up, start to give it a bit of a hand stretch. I think that's about there. So I just want to now move this over to the peel, a little bit of flour on the peel. We'll just move that over to there. So now we're ready to get our toppings on the pizza. If you remember, one of the toppings for this pizza was butterscotch. Mm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt down some of these butterscotch candies into a bit of the sauce which we can then put on. So I'm just going to get that done now before we start adding the rest of the topping. You can see that's starting to come together now and forming a sauce. Okay, so that's now softened up enough so we can add it onto the pizza as like a drizzly sauce. So let's get done with this quick before that cools. So the first thing we want is our sauce base. Next up we have these delicious anchovy fillets.
Next, we've got our fried onions. We then got a sprinkling of mozzarella. This has already gone a bit hard. I've just got to reheat this again. Anchovy. Right, so now let's add some of this butterscotch sauce and how well this is going to come out. It's just you can see how quick this sets slow. <laughs> wow. Well, when that goes in the pizza oven, this is all going to, the stringy bits will all melt again. So I think we'll be fine with this. I'm not sure that's going to be fine though. Okay, so that is now ready to go in the oven. I hope it's quick, because I can't wait. Okay, so this is ready to come out. I'm really not enjoying the smells coming from this. It really doesn't smell good. <laughs> it doesn't look good, it doesn't smell good. Now I've got to taste this. Oh. Yeah, butterscotch and onions. <laughs> With anchovies. It's gone quite oily from the anchovies. All the oils come out of the anchovies and it's gone really oily. This caramelly butterscotch stuff just looks revolting. I mean, the onions look nice. Cheese looks all right, except for all the fact that it's swimming in grease from the anchovies. Oh, thanks, turtles. Well, I guess I guess I need to cut a bit off, don't I? And try this. Maybe it'll be amazing. Maybe I'll be shocked, and it'll be great. It's really not going to be, though, is it? The butterscotch is just like near enough solid already and it's just like solid clumps of it. It's gonna be like eating a pizza with boiled sweets on it. Oh my god. I really don't want to taste this one. I knew the other one was gonna be bad last time, but this is gonna be so much worse. I can it just it smells horrible. Oh That's as much as I was tasting of that. You know what, compared to the last one, the last one was just like eating a regular pizza nearly. I mean this, oh my God, saltiness from the anchovies mixed in with this horrible, hard, crispy, caramelly butterscotch stuff. The oiliness just covering the whole thing. It's just salty, oily mess. Oh my God. So guys, make this one at home. I think you'll love it. Oh, that's off straight in the bin. Bye.